Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name's Alex and today we're going to be looking at how to enable the debug console on Unify uh, Network. So as of some recent versions of Unify Network, uh, Ubiquiti has moved the debug uh, terminal. So it used to be enabled by default. Uh, it's now a option you have to select. And then in some other recent versions of the Unify dashboard, um, the new GUI version, it didn't even have a debug console to start with. Uh, it's only It got removed at some point and then it's back again now. So uh, I'm running a early access version of Unify, so it's version 7.3.80. Uh, and we're going to now enable the debug console. So the what you need to look at is devices, and then I'm going to use the Unify switch as an example. So go settings, and then down to this section, and there should be a debug button here. So if that's missing, there's a few things you need to do. So go to settings, then to system. Scroll right down to the bottom uh, to advanced and press show more. Scroll down and you'll see a few options. So you've got the button for the interface, the new and legacy, and you've got the debug tools as well. So debug tools, you want to turn that on and then press apply. Go back to devices, the switch, settings, and then you've got the debug uh, terminal now. Uh, so you can open that up. It is a bit limited to how it used to be in the old GUI. Um, the old GUI, you could have multiple terminal windows open at one time. Uh, you could remove the, this window around. This is now stuck. If you click off it, it goes away, which is quite annoying. Um, hopefully, the Ubiquiti improves that in some early, in some new versions. Um, but what this allows you to do is SSH directly into um, a device, so it's an AP or switch, and then you can even SSH into other devices from there. So I'm going to demo that now. So SSH, and this is an example of the problem with the new one. So I want to go and get the username and password for my UXG Pro, for example. I click off and I've now lost the information. So what I have to do is get the details from here. So go system, administration, yep, so advanced. And I'm going to copy these details now. So there's my username and password for SSH. So I'm going to move that over to the side. Go back to the device. Open the debug terminal, which is debug. I'm going to go SSH, our username, and then at 192.168.55.1. It's going to say yes, we want to do the certificate issue, and then we shall put in the password. I think you have to just do the command V. Yep, so there you go. I'm now logged into the UXG Pro. Uh, so I'm logged into Unify Network, SSH into the switch, and then I've got SSH from that switch into the UXD Pro, which is awesome. Um, and you can, it's really useful if you've got a remote deployment, um, you need to upgrade software or something, and you're not actually, you haven't got a device on site that you can use SSH from, and I can ping and do all sorts of things from there. So, good troubleshooting tool. Uh, it has changed with new versions of Unify, um, but in a new something coming soon that this new dashboard will be the only option that you'll have and the legacy one will, will go away at some point so it's worth putting that in mind okay thank you for watching this hostify video my name's alex if you need more information about hostify have a look at hostify.com you can contact the team for support and queries at support at hostify.com and you can follow us on twitter at hostify underscore net we've also got a mastodon profile now which you'll find linked down below thank you for watching my name's alex and we'll see you again next time